Welcome to the channel, Titus here today with Talon and uh, I had a decent reservation uh, myself. This is the first resi I've had all season and I spent like 300 bucks and I've only got one resi and that's it. Season's almost over, no other chances. We picked a blind that goes like first all the time but I can see my truck like 200 yards away. It kind of looks like a bad joke. I'll show you guys uh, when it gets light. So I'm like, okay, is this a bad joke and only the Guys that can barely walk pick this. But I mean, I think they have good numbers usually, don't they? The passive shot good, they said. I think Tom's thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Oh. But you know, you never know, honestly. So we got a couple pulsators out. We only got about, I think I've got 18 decoys out plus two pulsators. One of Talon's pulsators and one mine. And um, I got these bad boys back. I uh, broke one like a dummy. And I just got back, so I'll be using these Tetris today. Oh, nice hat, Tom. Check it out. He's in, he's in a little dog box on the side, so it's pretty slick. It's pretty nice. So, anyways, I'm shooting my 12 gauge Browning A5 with good old heavy bismuth. Talon's gonna try them out today. Have you tried the heavy bismuth yet? I've shot the heavy hammer, heavy metal, but never the heavy bismuth, so it's gonna be interesting to see yeah. how they do today. Yeah, but we got the decoy set up over here on our left. It's looking like the sun's gonna be right in our face, unfortunately. So, I have no idea what to expect. The breeze is going from our right to our left. Could be epic. Could be a bust. But that's just the game. That's duck hunting for you. So give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you here in a second. I think I could have doubled it. Nice shot. Rocky! Shot, dude. Rocky! Good boy! Good boy, Rocky. Holy smokes. I should have doubled there. Did you? Uh, I don't know. Did you hit that one? Yeah. No, you got this one right here, I thought. I hit that one, yeah. I'll oh, hit one. Oh, yeah, I got this one. You got that one. I got that one. No, I was saying I, I should have doubled. There oh, were yeah. so many. I know. That was cool. Good I boy. On one of them. I know. Dang. Well, I dropped the very first one and I. Come on, bud. Leave. <laughs> Where'd his go? He's right there by that. Hey, the bird. Bap. Good boy. That was a huge group. Oh, his brains are <laughs> full choke. Good dog. Sit. Sit. Hold. Leave. Good boy. Dude, nice. Two drakes, huh? Good shot. Oh, get that one! Get him! Oh my goodness! What? How? I didn't lead him, I know I didn't. Doggone it! Here I go. Sit, Rocky. Sit. 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 Rocky! Make sure that one's dead. He did. <laughs> Didn't go for him. Right now. Right on, Good boy. <laughs> this one right here. Huh? Get this one. Oh, oh stoned him. Stoned him.
Rocky. Good boy. Good boy. Sounds like he's swimming with it. Come on, bud. It's deep water. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. <laughs> Good boy. Good job, Rocky. Come on, bud. I love how he went, like does that little <laughs> swim. Come on. Come on, buddy. If you'd go around, your life would be a lot easier. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on. That's the wrong way to go up that thing. That's why you're having problems, buddy. Good. Good boy. Come on. Good retrieve, buddy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good dog. Sweet. Wasn't expecting that today. If the trigger's gold, the bird will fold. Rocky. Rocky. Good boy. Come on, bud. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Leave. I don't think I'm looking down my gun square. You hit him. Do you want him? No, I don't want him. You killed him. <laughs> no, I don't want him. That's an insult, huh? He don't fold. The trigger wasn't gold. <laughs> the trigger was gold. <laughs> the trigger was gold. The bird fold. That's what you need, Talon. Huh? That's what you need. You need a gold trigger. I could have shot better over the top of my head. She just went bam, bam, bam. Give you guys a little update. Three green wings and a snow, and Talon's got two green wings. I honestly, I would almost say this is what I kind of, if I was to guess and someone said, how many birds do you think you'd shoot? I'd say two apiece. So, I'm not complaining, but this blind is terrible for a morning shoot. Like the sun is, we're literally looking straight to the east. It'd definitely be good for the afternoon though. Get the sun to your back, you'd be in the shadows. We're just kind of stick around, open maybe another volley of geese will come by and uh, maybe get a couple more crack shots in them and I think we'll probably bounce and go get some uh, some taco truck again and maybe roll into an afternoon hunt. We are gonna hunt all day, see if we roll into an afternoon hunt with this video or if we cut it off. But anyways, either way it's still been good. I mean, we, we beat the average, the average has been one barely over one and we're sitting at basically a three bird average right now for between both of us. That's the update. I'll, I'll talk to you guys again in a little bit. Oh, I just dropped another one. Missed it when I was close, flared up and shot it out their way. So we rock here, gonna see if we can find it. It found some nasty stuff. Oh, stem up from the geek can usually find it. Come on, bud, over here. This water is deep. Get him, bud. Fetch him up, buddy. Fetch the bird. Left. Okay. I'm gonna have to go around. Hey okay, buddy, catch it up, dead bird, dead bird. See him? He acts like he's in here. Oh, look at that blood right there. He's gotta be, Rocky, look at you, dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at that. Good boy, good boy. Good dog. Come here, sit. Sit, 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 good boy, sit, good boy, you're a stud, 
You stud boy. Good boy. Hold. Leave. Good boy. Dude, he's a stud muffin. Hit the thumbs up if you think he's a stud. Talon! No! Talon! That was a fine though. And it's what's funny is wherever he starts sniffing super hard on, where's that at? Let me see if I can find it. There was blood right, I go, oh look at there's blood right there and it's broken. And then he pulled it out of there. Awesome. I would have never found that. I bet. Good boy. I mean, boom, miss. Boom, hit him in the back. And he's right here. I mean, right there. And I was like, oh, yeah, dead. Click. Fuck, he's at least I do my job. Do when you miss a stud Drake Pinto 20 yards and I didn't have my gun all right so I keep looking at this this green wing and I'm like man he's a stud wow his head's really fluffy he's really man he looks abnormally big and then I put two Drake's side by side check this out look at the size difference in the heads and it's not because the one on the bottom's wet trust me look at the body size difference these two. I see a sign of a bunch of working ducks <laughs> and I see them everywhere <laughs> I can almost smell the powder <laughs> when it's smoking from my A5 <laughs> Dude, ah. I'll swap you, John. No, she loves that. Ridiculous. Was that two minutes apart? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what is going on? Deep three. <laughs> it's, I think it's a hen, but oh well. Who cares? We got a limit and get to go. So. Shh. One hour limit, dude. On widgeon. Yeah. Solid widgeon bag. <laughs> Never done it. What did I say this we year earlier? I said I'd love to get an all widgeon limit. Yeah. Good boy. Probably. Yeah. Number <laughs> seven in one hour. That's sick. <laughs> this is not. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> 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 Hey guys, before I give an update on my friend Tom, I just wanted to go over a couple things. We're doing an end of season sell, 25% off on everything in the store. We still have a few of these left. A lot of the hats are sold out. Thanks to you guys for the support. 
We got t-shirts and hoodies left. So guys, check it out, midvalleym.com. It's the best sale you're gonna get any time of the year. So update on my friend Tom. I wanna say first off, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart and I know Tom's family's heart and all the friends for you guys and all your prayers. That video that I showed the acts, the crash site and all that kind of stuff, it was tons and tons of comments, praying for Tom, praying for Tom, praying for your friend. And that truly, truly means a lot. They were on their way to go duck hunting and when that happened. So it's a miracle of God. We've already talked about that. Me and Tom said they're alive um, and really not any injuries besides Tom having a traumatic brain injury. If you guys seen the accident site, it was, terrible. It was gnarly. Honestly, they, there's no way they should have survived. People will die in less traumatic situations. Somehow Tom really got the brunt of it on his head. I don't really show him the pictures. You see the scratches on his forehead and stuff like that, but it was really around his ear. What was the worst one? He had several stitches there. January 28th will be 10 weeks since his accident. He came from basically not hardly being able to speak when he came out of it, he was never in a coma, but he was intubated with the tube down his throat several days. I can't remember exactly now. Times are all mixed up for me. He went from that to him not really recognizing everybody and knowing who everybody was. I know I got to go in the hospital, which was a miracle in itself. And I was so thankful and treasured that moment with him in there because with the COVID thing going on, they really weren't letting people in there. So for me to get to go in there with them was very special to me and helped me. Not that I'm the one that needed help or anything, but it's just... I felt like I could be there for him better than just at a distance. So got a chance to pray with him and pray for him and over him. And then it just progressed from there. He got better, started recognizing more people. Instead of just saying one or two word phrases, he would start saying a whole sen sentence. And then it went from there to where you could actually kind of semi-communicate with them. He didn't remember anything about the accident. I will be honest with you guys, I'm being totally transparent here and I know the family won't mind they're like family they basically are a family to me there was lots of confusion and there was lots of anger with the traumatic brain injury it has nothing to do with who the person was technically it's whatever part of the brain was injured and his basically his brain got rattled really really bad and so it can cause all these things that are totally not like the person really is sometimes honestly he'd make threats and I'm kind of documenting this for him to watch later too sometimes he would he threatened me and it wasn't I didn't take it personally because I knew it was the injury to his brain things and and situations he was confused about thinking things happened that never happened a lot of things went on guys and then Tara just sent me this yesterday this is this is powerful it's Tom sitting here wanting to get back in shape and start exercising. I mean, go for someone that can barely walk just because of what, what a brain injury does to you. And I'll tell you what the Bible says, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And I've never understood that like I do now. The brain is such a thing that doctors will never fully understand. It's one thing to have a broken bone, broken back, uh, have the flu. But when you have brain injury, there's no doctor out there really that can do much for you. It's, it's God that does the work. So he's out here running exercising, getting back in shape, totally talks normal, remembers a lot, most of the accident, just certain things he don't remember, which is totally fine. doesn't really matter if he remembers it or not. He's been going to church again. He's going to rehab twice a week. So and there's so many good things, guys. I, I'm, I just want you guys to know how much we sincerely appreciate your guys' prayers, honestly, uh, from our church family, to our friends, to people outside of the church, in the hunting community, all of you guys, I mean, everybody. It's just, it just shows you what's really important. And that is friendship, good friends of family and God. Those 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 things right there is all that really matters. Getting ducks on stuff is fun and great and stuff. But when it really comes down to it, we all need each other. And we got to support each other. So again, thank you guys so much for your support, for everything and for your prayers. Continue to please pray for my friend and brother in the Lord, Tom Driscoll. He's getting better every single day. And it's all we can say is thank you, Lord. And thank you guys for praying. We'll see you on the next video.